How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Dynamic Projectiles video. In this video, I'm going to just add a full screen event. Now, I thought that this would be something fun to do because this is a lot easier to actually debug with and it actually make it feel more of a game if you're exporting to NWJS or just if you're previewing to NWJS, which is something that you can do in the project properties uh, preview browser, set it to NWJS instead of a web browser. So what we're doing here is we're going to actually set NWJS to always be on full screen. And to do this, I'm actually going to do this on our camera object here. Now, I've actually completely messed around with our layout size here, and I'm not exactly happy with it. So I'm going to be reorganizing this project and changing it all up. And that'll come in some future videos. And we're going to still be doing all the other fun stuff along the way. But uh, until then, I'm just messing around with some layout sizes. And I thought having it full screen would always just take care of that. Uh, issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our camera object and we're going to add a full screen. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's double click on that. We're going to make it a Boolean. We're going to add a full screen Boolean instance variable to it just because our camera object is usually always going to be on our game and it's something that we can do. Now what I want to do is I want to go up to our game here and I want to right click and add a new event sheet and I want to call this my full screen event. And on this event, I think I'm going to make it into I could make it into a function, but what I really want to copy is our music event because our music event is so important. And I hope that people are starting to realize how important this uh, on off switch is. So let me copy our mouse clicked here. Let me go and copy and paste it into our full screen event. Now, what I want to do here is I have a few things. The first thing is I'm going to get rid of the left click and I'm going to change the M pressed to F pressed for full screen. And what I want to do here is I actually have to replace this object. And since I don't have the muted variable, I'm just going to delete both of those. And I'm going to double click on this first one here. And I'm going to go to our camera object. And I'm going to say, is Boolean instance variable set full screen? I'm going to control click to drag it down, right click and hit invert. Cool. Now here's the best part about this. Since this is already set up, we just have to replace this. So where it says set muted is false, I just have to add the action for our camera. And I have to set the Boolean of full screen to false and vice versa. I'm going to do that for over here as well. So I'm going to control click and put this to true. And now we've completed our on off circuit here. So let me get rid of this, these two lines of code, because we do not need those. Oh, oh wait, what was that one? Set muted to true. Oh no, we don't need that. And we can get rid of all of those. So what we do need though, is we need a way to request full screen access. And fortunately our browser object has that capability. So if it is full screen, then what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna cancel our full screen mode. So we're gonna, I did that way too quickly. We're gonna go to our browser and hit cancel full screen. And then if it is not full screen, we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to our browser and we're gonna say request full screen. Now, when we request it, it, it depends on the mode, but for the most part, we want it to actually scale to the inner version and stretch to the entire width of our monitor. So that's going to be what we're going to hit there and hit OK. And now, since this is not in a function or anything like that, this will always be triggered as long as we add it into our game event here. So let me uh, add this in. Let me hit N on the keyboard to include an event sheet and let me add the full screen event to our game. And let me hit play. Now when I hit play, this is going to pop up really slow, uh, small because that's what I was messing around with. But when I hit F, it's actually gonna go into full screen mode and it's gonna scale perfectly. So that's really what was important here. And when I hit F again, it's going to pop out. If you, had, if you hit F and then you hit like escape to get out, it's not gonna work. So if you hit F and pop it out, it's going to work. So that is how we make a full screen event. Again, my music event that people were saying is a little too basic is honestly very crucial to making on off switches. I think so that is something that I have now adapted to our full screen and I can adapt it to anything I can adapt it to music sliders SFX sliders pretty much anything that requires being on and being off with the same trigger to press because I know that that's a common issue when it comes to learning construct 2 in the beginning is people will just say wait why is this not working and they'll have a variable like uh, on F pressed and then if this is equal to one where they'll put this and they'll say system compare the variable of 
uh, on if pressed is if it's equal to zero, then it's going to work, right? Or uh, let me make that not an or statement there. And if I copy and paste this, and if this is equal to one, and yeah, that might work at some point, but I know that for a fact that this way in the long run is not worth it. So it's better to just do it this way and have these controls and get rid of this variable altogether. So I hope you learned something from this dynamic projectiles video. We are gonna get back on track here and make some cool bullet types in the future soon. I'm really excited to where I'm going to take this project. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the description, or leave it in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to answer you. And also, if you could like the video, that'd be great. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.